So we all know what this planet smells like, but what about the other ones? Let's find out. So let's start with Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. Unfortunately, it doesn't have much of an atmosphere. Most of it was lost long ago. But what remains, uh, there's a lot of sodium. And sorry, it doesn't have much of a smell. Up next, Venus. Now, Venus is kind of a hell world. The atmospheric pressure is crushing, the atmosphere is poisonous, and you have all of these clouds of sulfuric acid swirling around the planet. So you can expect a rich, pungent odor of rotten eggs. All right, now up next is Earth. We already know about Earth, but what about the moon? Well, we've actually, of course, sent humans to the moon. Astronauts have landed on the moon. They've tracked moon dust back aboard their capsules and their moon landers, so they have some idea. They tell us that it smells like gunpowder, and this tends to make sense since a lot of it is a silicon dioxide. Plus, they've also absorbed various gases since the moon is constantly buffeted by the solar winds. Up next, we have Mars, the red planet, and here you're going to have iron, magnesium, sulfur, acids. Add that together with a carbon dioxide rich environment, and you're going to have another eggy, stinky planet to walk around in. Up next, Jupiter, the gas giant. And uh, it's really going to depend on which layer you're sniffing around in. The lighter layers are going to smell like ammonia, and then ammonia and rotten eggs. Then you're going to pass through hydrogen sulfide, and then hydrogen cyanide, which is going to smell like bitter almonds. Up next, Saturn. Now, we don't really have a lot of good info on what Saturn might smell like, but one of its moons, Titan, is particularly interesting because it has a very hazy nitrogen atmosphere, and we can probably expect that to smell like a petroleum processing plant. All right, now we're finally at Uranus. What does Uranus smell like? Well, you might be surprised to learn that Uranus doesn't have much of a smell at all. There's hydrogen and there's helium and there's about 2% methane, but even that's not enough to affect the overall odor. And then finally we arrive at Neptune, and actually Neptune has a very similar odor to Uranus, which is to say it doesn't have much of one at all. So there you have it, the odors of our solar system. And don't you feel privileged to live on Earth where we have all of these varied odors to take in instead of just one eggy smell? So what about you? What if you had to live on a planet that just smelled like one thing? What would that one thing be? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below. You can leave a video response. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out even more mind-blowing videos.